Demonstrating optical phenomena in the classroom can be difficult. The trouble is, light beams are invisible. The normal scattering agents such as chalk dust are messy and could cause other problems in the classroom. The laser viewing tank allows students to see and manipulate light beams in a lab group setting. These tanks act as student workstations, so you can set up a bunch with little time or fuss. When I aim a laser into the tank filled with pure water, the beam can barely be seen. When I add a small amount of scattering agent to the water, the beam becomes highly visible. Some light is reflected from the agent's particles as the beam passes through the water. And we're going to dim the lights so you can see what's happening. Next, I'm going to aim the laser down toward the water at an angle to see refraction in action. Look how the direction of the beam changes when it enters the water. Set the tank at the edge of the table and aim the beam upward to see refraction again. If you increase the angle of incidence by aiming the beam through the water from the side of the tank, you will observe total internal reflection. When a source of white light is sent through the tank, the light appears blue from the side because the short blue wavelengths are scattered more than any other. Looking through the end of the tank, the light appears to have a reddish tint because all of the blue wavelengths have been filtered out through scattering. You can also use diffraction gratings with different numbers of lines to observe interference patterns. Look at the well-defined maxima. There are so many characteristics to explore. Students really have a great time exploring the phenomena of waves with this tank. It really makes science fun.